These last weeks have been very cold and rainy and candles have been still welcome in the studio. As a paper artist, there are two things I like to do the most in my art. It is sculpting and painting faces of characters and human faces especially and the older the better, and also dressing them, imagining their outfits. And here I'm doing the faces of two old fairies for my book project White Cat. So they are the two old fairies who live in the old fairy castle. And working on their old hand and their old fingers is especially satisfying. I love trying to imitate all the veins, doing all the red, parts on the skin. This is something really fun to do. Her little fist close before her eyes seemed to ease the mind of the person of the house, for she added with recovered composure, no, 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 no children for me. Give me grown-ups. It was difficult to guess the age of this strange creature, for her poor figure furnished no clue to it, and her face was at once so young and so old. Twelve, or at the most thirteen, might be near the mark. I always did like grown-ups, she went on, and always kept company with them. So sensible, sit so quiet, don't go prancing and capering about. And I mean always to keep among none but grown-ups till I marry. I suppose I must make up my mind to marry one of these days. And as they are probably very cold, they needed some mittens to protect their old hands. Painting pattern is also very soothing. There is something very calming in doing and repeating the flowers, the baroque patterns I'm creating on the paper and it has a very calming effect on the mind. I always like to do that as a sort of little pose on the creation phase. When you do something pretty easy and you have to do it over and over again to have a nice result. And doing that while listening to a nice audiobook is something I really love doing and it puts me in a very peaceful mind. Two other fairies, a little younger than the one who conducted my mother, received her at the gate and welcomed her very graciously. She begged they would lead her directly into the garden, and to those espaliers where she would find the best fruit. It is all equally good, said they to her, and if it were not that you desired to have the pleasure of picking it yourself, we have only to call the fruit we wish for, and it would come to us here. I definitely revisit the joy I had when I was dressing my dolls when I was a girl, when I dressed my characters. But here I don't need fabric, I don't need needles or threads. I can do it with paper and glue and brushes and colors. And I really love that. I love this step. When I was a teenager, I wanted to be a set and costume designer for the theater. So it is not 
probably very surprising that dressing my characters, imagining and painting their little paper outfit is one of my favorite, absolute favorite thing to do as a paper artist. I like to choose the colors, the pattern, try to see how I can imitate fabric the best I can. Here are my old fairies from the old fairy castle I'm working on and I'm working on their outfits and it's the first time for a long time I, I didn't work on old ladies, old characters, ugly characters which is something really exciting to do. I'm a little bored of doing beautiful ladies and all that. It's not the thing I really like to do now these days. I think doing faces with wrinkles, with uh, old hands too, trying to imitate the veins in the, under the skin and the redness. It's just more fun to do. It's just more exciting. There is a fascination with ugliness. I think Victor Hugo, he, he was very fascinated by ugliness. He talks a lot about that in his novels. And when I was reading him and reading what he was saying about it, I, I share a bit that too. It's just fun to to do and to sculpt. Here, of course, it is not finished. I still have to work on the bust. I want to have more details, some keys. They have some accessories falling from the Shetland, from the little belt with all the tools they could have. I thought it would be nice if they had this and probably a coat. I'm not sure if I will use the Vichy pattern for the coat yet. Uh, it's quite long to do the Vichy pattern, to tell the truth. Sometimes some floral things are a little easier or some baroque thing. I was quite a lot inspired by this cover. I love this cover of the different it's religious books from the old bookshops. It's super beautiful covers which are really interesting and inspiring to create for me my patterns for my outfits sometimes for well maybe even for castle for patterns for wallpapers or anything like that but here I want to have that a lot. I don't want too much floral for my different characters for the cats. I want them to have a lot of button lags like that on their jacket and their coats. Uh, so I was using that just as the vague inspiration and then I changed it. So maybe I'm just going to keep this shape and I will change the colors and all that. Uh, some flowers there. It just always, always inspires me to have this on my desk in a corner of my desk so that I can see it below. It is the sketch here, my original one, which I'm not entirely well for the pattern. I'm going to change them a bit. And I will have, of course, the garden scene, which I'm going to do in small. So I'm not going to have everything in big. The witches, which are not called witches, of course, in the 17th century, they are all fairies. Fairies are not usually good. It doesn't, it's a neutral word uh, in the 17th. It's not like now when you say a fairy, most of the time you think it's a rather gentle character, but in the 17th uh, you don't call witches witches. In fairy tales they were all fairies, always called fairies. Um, they could be really bad. Most, a lot of them are very bad actually. Not all of them, but in Madame de Noir quite, uh, quite many. So I'm going to work on the garden scene, probably once I finish completely this one. And the cats are not dressed. As you can see, this one didn't make any progress yet. I wanted to have this one at the same level than this one. There are the two cats who are driving white cat in the scene with the other cages with the mice and all that. It's a great scene, but I was, yeah, it was taking my time to create the outfit. Of course, I did a lot of other things and working already on this scene this past day took me quite a lot of time. I, will, I wanted to have finished the fairies before jumping, going back to the, to the cats and doing them nice outfits and f having fun with the cages. I'm going to continue to work on my fairies and the garden scenes of white cats. Continue to finishing these outfits. I really have a lot of fun. I try to do something a bit different with different patterns. Here I'm in a 17th century fairy tale. I don't want to have too many, well, too much 18th century pattern or that. So I did this pattern though, the, the pattern which imitates a bit the jam pattern you have on some jam uh, boxes that you can buy in the supermarket and we call that Vichy pattern in French and uh, this was actually used in the 18th for mainly furniture. I had this pattern appearing in several of the book I, I brought back from Chantilly, the Chantilly Castle that video you have seen uh, earlier in March and I had this on my on my desk. This pattern was perfect for the 
all fairies which are keeping this magical magical orchard with all this magic these magical fruits so it's the reason i use it but otherwise i try to try to find some patterns which would be a little more 17th century but i have a lot of fun working on these scenes and as i worked of course on the garden medieval garden scene in for the exhibition about the gardens uh, I, I was in the garden mood a bit and um, before working on other projects I wanted to work a bit on this scene on Waika. There are so many scenes but this one I wanted to focus a bit on that and working on the old faces and the switches. Um, I didn't do old ladies for quite a while and it's there's a lot of fun working on those. So if you also like outfits, paper outfits, dressing characters, doing their faces, um, imagining what dresses they could wear. Uh, just know that the Marie Antoinette workshop is about to close its doors this week. So you have till June 6 to join if this is something you might be interested to do because the doors will be closed till next year, spring, summer 2025. So you have just a few more days to join and we are doing a lot of outfits which are removable and we also do some accessories, all of that. Of course it's different than that, it's, it's another workshop. I don't do workshops on everything I do but it's a bit some principle that we are working on uh, clothes, paper outfits, paper patterns, choosing colors, trying to imitate fabric, all that. So if you are interested you have the link just under this video and you can click on it and join the workshop at once. And if you love white cat, I just put a little excerpt of white cat, you may have known that I have with Mr. Lawrence Calwell done a little audiobook for free which you can download online and if you click under this video you will find the link very easy to access the audiobook of White Cat, the full fairy tale which includes of course the scene of the magical garden. It's a beautiful scene. I love this scene when the mother of White Cat goes in this magical old fairy castle uh, to try to find these fruits. I will come back very soon with many videos actually. I have many footages and uh, photos of the exhibition which I didn't see yet myself but I have been sent quite many uh, sequences, footages and um, pictures that I'm going to share in another video a little later in June so you could see that but if you have a chance to come not too far it's really really worth seeing. The castle is beautiful and the exhibition of course is really really magical. I'm excited to see it when I will be able to go there a little later this year. I will also link the castle address website in case you have a chance to go. This is uh, the video I have done just before this one which was about the medieval castle and the medieval manuscript. I've worked on it for two months and the exhibition has just started now and it's going to run for quite many months till the autumn. Thank you very much for watching this little video. I hope it inspired you maybe to create some nice outfits for your characters if you are working on characters right now and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the nice videos coming so hope to see you very soon